there is only one being. Would you agree with that? Can there in, in an infinite an infinity, can there anything, can there be anything but unity? Ultimately. There has to be only one being. Can you tap into that reality? The truth that there has to, that everything has to come from one being. It has to, there is no other way. It's a little hard to explain with language, but you can get a sense of it. At some point it's as clear as whatever. It's clear that there can, there can only be one being. It's not possible for there to be two different beings that then create different things. It's one being that creates everything within itself, out of itself. There is no other way. Infinity equals unity. Multiplicity is a finite concept. Unity, although a concept in words, is actually not a concept. It's not a finite concept. What the word unity, the idea of unity, what it actually refers to is infinity. Infinity has to be a unity. Maybe it does not make sense immediately, but okay. So you can tap into that to some extent, that there has to, that this all has to come from one being. The original state before everything was created, what is there? There's one. Does that make sense? Before anything was exploded into the big bang of desire and creation and multiplicity and diversification, what was there at the very original, before the beginning of time, what was there? What do you imagine is there before time began, before creation and form and experience began? What was there? Now we're getting into my infinity teaching, beyondness, beyond consciousness, beyond experiencing. What was there before even consciousness came into being? Can you get a sense of infinite, indescribable oneness or unity? Yes? No? Good enough? Okay, let's try this. If it doesn't work, we can try a different route. So let's just assume for now, or sense into the fact, that there has to be one being only, that there cannot be fundamentally originally two. Originally means it's one. It cannot be originally two. Where would it come from? There can only be one, you see? It's so sensical to me, but when I explain it and I hear my words, and I see it through some of your eyes, I totally hear how it's not necessarily sensical. But to me, it makes so much sense. It cannot be any other way. It's a different type of logic that you attain after some of this practice. And it, then it just is logic. So there cannot be but one being, originally speaking. Everything comes from one. There cannot be originally two. It's an impossibility. So since there is originally one being, everything that is created must then be created out of this one being. No? Because where else would it come from? If originally there is only one being, everything that is created must come from that one being, including whatever you call you. So you are that one being creating yourself and all that there is. If you realize that there is only one being, you realize that that is God. And if there is only one being, that means that you are it. You're it. You're the one. You're the one. You're God already. You are already creating. Creation does not exist apart from you. Nothing does. Creation does not appear before you. It appears with you. As soon as you appear, your creation appears. They are the same thing. You are your creation. You are your environment. You're not the body inside of something that already existed. You are the entirety of this dream environment. And you're creating it all at once, all right now, all simultaneously. When you disappear, creation disappears. When you reappear, creation reappears. It's seamless. It's inseparable. Does that make sense? But this has something to do with the different levels of consciousness that all coexist within the one consciousness. Right? So in a sense, the drop of water is not the ocean, even though it's made out of water just like the ocean. But we could make that distinction. So on the level of the drop, from the drop's perspective, it is not the ocean. It will never be the ocean. It will always be the drop. Does that make sense? Yeah. So from your personality level, which has gained momentum and identity after incarnation, quote unquote, after birth, it has developed its own sense of self-consciousness, right? That is generated out of the state of being a separate person in a world. So from that perspective, yes, it's very impossible in a sense to see that that is all that is, because that is not all that is. All that is is all that is, including that. That, from its own point of view, will not necessarily realize that it is all of that, because it's not all that is. It is all that is, but only on the level of all that is. Does that make sense? Yes. So it is understandable that you don't necessarily feel 
from your physical base perception that you are all that is. You don't need to feel that all the time per se, or even feel it at, at any time, but at least connect to that idea as often as you can. Because what happens then, and this is where the magic happens, this is where your experience transforms itself. It's where you, in a sense, if you see every level of your consciousness as a floor inside of a building, right? Every layer of consciousness that's a little higher has a little more view of the city, correct? And a roof has absolute view, 360. You can walk around and see all sides of creation. Does that make sense? So let's say that the personality self is the bottom floor. From the bottom floor, from the personality sense of self, it does not realize all of creation. It does not perceive all of creation. And it doesn't have to because it's generated, it's created to be at that level. It's generated to have a specific slice of all that is as its experience. It's not designed to have all that is as its experience. All that is already has all that is as its experience. It doesn't need a duplicate consciousness level. It already is all that is. So why would you create a duplicate level of that consciousness? So on that level, there's only one consciousness that's aware of all that is. Any level down from that all that is level consciousness, each portion of that consciousness then has its own portion of all that is that it's aware of, as if that is all that there is from its point of view. Does that make sense? So in a sense, all that there is to you from your point of view is anything you experience at any given moment. That does not mean that there is not more to all that is all that is, but your all that is is your all that is from your perspective all that is. Does that make sense? Okay. Now, if you see every personality level or every consciousness level as sort of a shell or a, um, something you can enter and exit, like a floor of a building, and let's say you enter the elevator, and the elevator represents your actual free agency, your free consciousness, being able to withdraw itself from identifying with the personality consciousness and being able to take itself up in frequency and vibration and expansion and then step out at the next floor and see that much more of the city around it. Does that make sense? So now you have taken your consciousness and you've made it less identified with the bottom floor and more identified with the second floor up, which sees more. So its experience is a greater portion of all that is at the same time. It's still not experiencing all that is because that's not relevant for that floor. However, now what you've done, how you've transformed your experience, how you've become more aware of the fact that you are all that is, is not by trying to become that from the bottom floor level. You've allowed yourself to step out of the bottom floor level, step in the elevator and step out on another level of your consciousness. You are the core consciousness that in a sense is able to move through those shells of consciousness those levels of consciousness. There's one consciousness that you are that can go all the way from all that is, all the way down to I am Bentinho sitting here with a physical body. So the only way you can experience more of all that is, is by becoming the level that experiences more of all that is. You can't experience more of all that is by being at the level of less that all that, less, that's less aware of all that is. Does it make sense? So the drop cannot be aware of the wave, the wave cannot be aware of the lake, the lake cannot be aware of the ocean. If you want to be aware of the wave when you're the drop, you have to let go of the drop and become the wave. If you want to become aware of the lake, you have to let go of being a wave and become the lake. Does that make sense? So every shell of consciousness has its own perception that is relevant for its own level. And you cannot take one level and make it become the highest level. It's not relevant, it's not how it's designed. What you can do is you can step out of one level and enter another level and then become that level of consciousness. And then you see as that level of consciousness sees and you feel more at one with creation because it's a higher level of consciousness. Does that make sense?